Okay, this video is going to talk about what Tesla is doing for self-driving, the technology that they are using, and why it's different than everyone else's. Well, basically, they don't use LiDAR. That's the thing that's the most important thing you need to know. If you don't want to know what LiDAR is, I just made another video about that, so please check in the history. And here, why? What's, what's Elon Musk say about this? It says, in my view, light, it's a crutch. It's LiDAR is a crutch that will drive companies to a local maximum that they will find very hard to get out of. Musk said he added, perhaps I'm wrong and I will look like a fool, but I'm quite certain that I am not. Well, I'm a Tesla investor, and you can check on that TSLA stock. I've talked about that recently, and I hope that Musk is right. And you think that he is, and here's why. Here's why I think that he is right. First of all, this is what a LiDAR system looks like. It, it First of all, it's, it's a giant thing on the top of your car. It looks awful. It looks ugly, okay? Um, and it, it really, it, it, I mean, at, the very little, at the very least, it messes up the look of your car, okay? I think we can all agree on that. That's on the roof. So number one, it's going to look bad. It does produce a 3D map, and it le requires less computing power. I think that's what it is, okay? Less computing power to do that. But um, here, but what, what it requires is, here it is. It says right here, passive optical recognition. So Tesla system requires a lot more computing power. And, you know, we're not there yet, but we keep growing every day. Things are going to reach a, a rate where computing power is going to be exponential, as Musk says. And... What they're gonna, what what Elon Musk and Tesla expect to do, is use their system of cameras, which is all around the vehicle. And I've got vehicle, I've got videos on that if you want to see where the cameras are located. It's got a combination of, of cameras, front-facing radar, and and uh, ultrasonic sensors around the vehicle that are this little these little paint-colored dots around the bumper levels and stuff that you see. So Tesla's banking on cameras as the key hardware component, right? And um, ever increasing pixel resolution low price point okay well that's the thing it's the it's the computer power right that as needed right now they're running in shadow mode so it's actually running if you have a vehicle like mine if you purchase the enhanced autopilot and you purchase the full self-driving that's what it's doing i'm collecting data for tesla and I'm, i've made videos on that if you want to understand how that works because it's always connected to the internet sending data back and forth Tesla's ranked last in a recent scorecard because they don't use LiDAR. You can see there's there's definitely some industry push there for LiDAR, right? And Tesla, as we know, always does everything different. So, um, let's see. That's Tesla self-driving. Let's go to the Tesla website. Okay, this site right here, this is the Model X base, well, Model X 100D is, uh, it's cost after savings, was it $101,000. They've actually raised the price recently. Because they stopped making them, the, the demands up. I guess enhanced autopilot. This is what I purchased. As you can see, there are overlapping cameras. I think this includes not only the overlap of the cameras, but also the ultrasonic sensors. But they all these visible cameras all overlap, so it's constantly looking in all directions all at once. Now you need computing power to analyze that. Well, I had to pay extra money for autopilot. I can't remember what I paid, but right now it's five thousand dollars if you pay for enhanced autopilot. Okay. But I also paid for the full self-driving capability. So it doubles the number of cameras from four to eight. I've got four. I've got I've got eight. I've got three in the front, uh, right in the rear view mirror. I've got one on each uh, quarter panel or be between the front tires and, and front doors. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I've got two on the B pillars, six, seven, and then one rear camera, eight. Okay, and all you'll need to do is get in. This explains how the system's gonna work. Uh, Note that it's dependent on extensive software validation and regulatory approval, which may vary by jurisdiction. Paid extra money for that. Okay. Um, let's see. I like this thing about the revenue sharing. Purposes on the Tesla network, details of which will be announced next year. Well, we'll see how I will do that. <laughs> uh, make money off my car. But here's the thing. Now, it doesn't say anything about the computing power in here, right? Okay, but Elon Musk has promised that if, he doesn't have enough computing power in the car because S and X models have two computers. They have a main computer for driving the car, and then a special. I think it's in, I think it's Nvidia, I believe. Secondary computer for that's dedicated to the autopilot system. Well, they'll upgrade these computers. He said that verbally anyway. If they don't work, if they're not capable of processing all the data from the cameras, which I think they may not. But the Model 3 only has one computer, one single computer that does all that. It's a faster computer than the main MCU right now, and, and SNX, at least I believe it is. But it's only one single computer. So that's the difference between Model 3 and SNX. That's one of the differences that brings the price way down. So 
let me know if you've heard about any of that. If if uh, anywhere in writing where Tesla says they will upgrade the computers, because that is really really important. And um, let's see, there's the lidar images. What else can I say about this? Well, I'd say that. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, really, the, the basic idea here is that Tesla is taking a risk, as they always have taken a risk, right? Do you think they'll make it? Let me know in the comments. Do you think they can do this on cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors alone? Because all the other companies have cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors, but they also have LiDAR. So they are going the less computing power, less computer intensive route, and more sensor intensive, and it's obviously visible on the car if you have those LiDAR, that LiDAR sensor that spins around. And Tesla is going the heavy computing power route. Which do you think will win? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.